Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're going to be looking into how we work with the Hathora server hosting in Unity with Fishnet. Now you don't have to be using Fishnet, you could integrate it with systems such as Miro or Netcode and follow pretty much the same steps. Generally this is a generic server setup in that sense. I personally really like working with Hathora, and luckily for us they are the sponsors of today's video. I don't take sponsorships with companies I wouldn't personally use and I actually use Hathora professionally on multiple projects as well and I know it's a good system to work with. So first of all, how to get started, you can log in directly to the dashboard, I would very much recommend you do that immediately and you also go to the documentation where we can just find Unity and integration guide and here there'll be a link to the Unity plugin. Going in here, you can download the plugins only package by just clicking here and you'll download the package and you need to import that into Unity where you have your fishnet installation already. It's really as simple as that, then you log into the dashboard dashboard and it should look something like this. Now please note that Hathra is giving off $500 completely for free for you guys to utilize for hosting. I've done a bunch of testing setups and I've used about 4 cents so far so you can see this is very much like enough for plenty of production use as well. It's a really cool setup and it's a really cool thing that they do here. So moving on one of the first things that we want to do is we want to create an application. We will be needing this and we need to set an application name. I'm just going to call this one Hathra test and I'm going to click create application. Now with this being created well, let's jump into Unity. Here I have a pretty generic set up already. I have my connection starter set up. One thing that's important to note is just when you work with servers, I have this automatic start connection that just runs on start. But I do first of all just check if the server has been started. If it has, I do not do it. This is just to avoid a dedicated server to like try and run as a client. I don't want that to happen. So other than that, the whole setup is very basic. I use Tugboat and as you can see, I just have the local host, the port setup and nothing is really unique. The whole testing setup right now, if I just jump to host setup, and the setup I have here just means I can jump straight into a game. As you can see, I can walk around look around and i can just have the other screen as well connect i just need to set local host and the correct port and there we go he connected as well he can walk around and that's network and as you can see that works just fine now with the networking setup in place all that we really need to do is we need to get hathra set up properly so if you go to the little hathra tab here at the top and we click create new hathra server config we'll get this that will require us to log into hathra cloud i'll just click here it'll open my browser i press confirm and i'll be going right back to unity where you can see we're already now logged in here you can see it already found the application we made if not you can just click here to create a new application refresh and find the application anyway now we don't need any of this anymore for anything going further down this is where some of the important stuff comes so when you set up and install unity or if you've already installed unity you can go and you can add your modules to unity here and what's important is that you have the linux build support mono and the server build support i believe these are these two packages are required because they are needed in order to actually build the server setup so all that i need to do now is i just go to the server build settings and i say generate server build one thing that's important is just on my network manager i have whatever port i want the server to be utilizing here this port can be anything i'm just using this default one but you can really set it to anything also when you want to go back to the hathora settings we go to hathora select last used hathora and now i can just click generate server build now once it's done building the server build we can scroll down and you can actually see the generate server build logs if you go to the very bottom of that it'll say build done and completed if not it'll give you some error now going back we can just now close this open up the hathra deployment config now this is why it's very important that this port that we set before we also set here we just choose the transport type of udp because that's what fishnet uses and we can just run on the tiny plan we don't need anything larger than that and we can just click deploy process. This basically means it takes the server, uploads it to Hathra server so that we can actually use it to run rooms and servers and so on with, which we'll get to in just a bit. So now that it's done deploying, we can once again go down and log, scroll to the very bottom and it should say deployment done. Now, once this is done, we can close the deployment one and we can go to create a room. We can choose which region we want the room to be in. I'm personally in Europe, so I'll choose Frankfurt and you can just hit create room. And there we go. Now it's set up the room. We can click connect, copy connection info and I'll just use this to connect with. You can do this directly in your talk boat. I have that set up in my connection start already. So you essentially just connect to the address that it gives you and then it has the colons. You remove the colons and then you set the port in your port field. And that's essentially it. I'll make sure to join here as a client and I can just hit play and I should just connect directly. And there we go. Here we have a functioning server setup. Let me go and also do this on my other screen. And there we go. Now we're connected through Hathra and this is all networked very fast, very, very quick. Going to the Hathra dashboard here, we can actually also follow along here. So if I just refresh, you can see there's one room running right now, which I can jump into that. And then we can actually follow along with what's going on. So you can see there's two connections live right now. You can also see the CPU utilization, the memory utilization, and you can have a nice overview. And most importantly, 
We have our server logs, so in case something goes wrong, it's easy for you to debug and figure out what actually breaks. Keep in mind, when you change networking logic, you want to deploy a new build every time. It's just good to be aware of. When you change only local logic, you don't have to deploy a new build. But this is really it. This just works. It's as easy as that. You really just follow these three steps, which is build the server, deploy the server, and create the room. And it's as easy as that. There's nothing more to it. It's almost like magic. I really hope this was helpful to you. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You can join my Discord or Hathras Discord if you need help. Both links will be in the description. Make sure to show Hathras some support. This is an absolutely awesome product. Giving $500 free for hosting is absolutely wild with so cheap hosting prices already. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Thought this would be very useful and have a wonderful day.